Alright guys, what's going on? Welcome to your next set of Android tutorials. Now this next group of tutorials, we're actually going to do something a little more complicated in that we're going to just make a simple list view and get a list of videos from YouTube. And we're going to be using JSON, uh, you know, doing lots of things like that. So first thing I'm going to need to do is I'm going to need to create a new project. As always, a new Android TV, where are you? Android application project, and we're just going to call this a YouTube video list. Okay, and let's change this. We can basically just be my channel name, basic equations, minimum SDK. We're going to go with API level nine, and the usual stuff. And our theme will be Hollow Light. Boom, uh, launch icon. I'll just keep it kind of boring or nonsense. There's no need to change it. Create activity, name activity, and we're done. And it's loaded up. Brilliant. Got all our stuff ready to go. So the first thing we need to do is we need to, uh, well, we're going to have to create something in order to display a list of videos and or a list of video titles. And naturally enough, First thing we should jump to your mind is list view. So let's modify our layout here. And we'll go in here and we'll just change this to a list view. And we'll just copy and paste this down here. And list view can have no children, so we'll just get rid of that. Oops, therefore if we go back, we just got a list view. Excellent, nice big fat list view. I just realized I haven't made my font bigger. So I'm just gonna do that now for you guys. General appearance, colors and fonts. Uh, edit, size 20, okay, apply. There we go. That should make things a bit easier for your, you guys to see. So now that we've made our, so, no, oh, so now that we've got our uh, system going, <laughs> list view. So what do we actually want to happen? We'll actually decide on this first. Right, the activity will start. We'll set up our list view to an array. We'll have at the start of the activity that, or once the activity is set up, we'll, we'll get our list view, get the array set up, get the adapter set up. Then it will call to the internet and just, you know, the app will just call the internet. We'll pull down the data from YouTube. Then that data will be sorted through, loaded into the array that we use to set up the list view. So we'll change the array and then we'll tell the list view if the data has changed, reload. So that's the first thing we'll do. So this video will get our adapter set up anyway. So we need to create our list view and we're gonna create a class global variable. Video list. And then down here, equals list view and we actually haven't set that ID that ID is going to give an error straight off because um, we haven't actually created an ID video list so we just need to add this here uh, oh, thank you. we'll do it in the graphical editor because sign ID, video list, and there you go, video list. Okay, give that a second there and it'll pop up. Anyway, so while we're waiting for that to pop up, we'll start building our adapter. So as we know, we need an adapter to actually do it, so it's gonna be an inner class, so actually we don't even need an adapter. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is we'll set up an array up here. So we'll say video. Array. I mean, I'm going to str string array and call it video array. I'm always getting mixed up with arrays. I'm terrible with them. 
Not that. Just need to create. There we go. That's how we create our name, Java. I'm terrible. Change to. Oh, I had it misspelled. So we've got that. So now what we want to do is we want to create an array adapter. It's all in the on create as usual because that's where we set up everything for our activity. Now sometimes you don't do it in on create. Sometimes you need to do it in on start on various places. So on create. So now what we need to do is we need to generate an array adapter. So say array adapter and it's going to be a string array adapter uh, adapter and video adapter equals new And now there's a couple of different uh, things here. We need a context int int, context int int list uh, string array. That's what we want. So there we go. So as you can see here, we need a context int resource int text view text view resource ID objects. So our resource is going to be our activity. Or our context list is the context of our activity. The video array, naturally enough, will be our array. And uh, this will be null at first. This could put a po potentially pose a problem. In fact, um, tell you what we'll do. We'll set this up just with no one string in it, no video. Can I even do that? No videos. We'll just set up a single array so it's not null, so we won't get null pointer exceptions. Now we need our int resource and int text view resource ID. So we're actually going to get rid of this. It seems odd to get rid of that one. But this constructor just needs the text view resource ID. And I think it's or dot android dot text view list item. Hang on, I'll just double check that. Okay, so what if I decided to modify uh, my plan a little bit. I'm not going to use the standard Android list view uh, text view. We're actually going to create a text view in our layout. So we're just going to create an XML file that's nothing but a text view. So we're going to call this video list item. And we're going to go down to where are you now? Text view next. Finish. So that's that done. We don't need to do anything. We just need to say, so we've got to just create a text view. And we're going to say for that layout dot video list item. So now that's going to set up our array adapter, ready to go. And then we just need to set that adapter onto our list view. So video list dot set adapter adapter, and we're good. Uh, video adapter to call yep. And we're good to go. One thing I'm going to check here is video. Yeah, we do need to do. We need to make a slight change there. Uh, this we're going to put this up here, and then we're going to dispose of this here because we're going to need to call this later on from a an inner class further down. But anyway, let's just uh, run this, see if it comes up correctly, and see what happens. So run as an Android application. Uh, it'll run on the emulator by default. Let's check my console. Yep, it's uploading to the emulator. Okay, so we've got our list view, and it just shows up no videos first. That's perfect. We're actually just going to make this font a little bigger. So Android text size, we'll set it to 24 SP, 24 scaling pixels, very important to say that. 
So now that we've got all that, we'll just make the font a little bigger because you guys can't even see that up there probably, but just say uh, no video. Um, that's really weird. I didn't pick that, I picked hollow light. Tell you what we'll do. We did not mean to be we did I didn't want a uh, dark action bar, so we'll just delete this one folder. Means uh, the newer version, yeah, hollow light. Google Drive has been doing that lately, it's been going me mad. But anyway, uh, we'll just run this again just to double check that, that text the text size has increased a lot and the action bar has changed colour. Because we just want to be hollow light. Don't want it to be dark action bar. There we go. Yeah, so our list is now much, much bigger. So, in the next video, we're going to uh, generate. So, the next video, we'll probably be able to finish this. We'll do our call to the internet and we'll get the uh, YouTube JSON data. I'll show you the page for that and we'll go through how the JSON data is organized and then we'll process that in our app, download it, and set it going. So, as always, guys been good and we'll see you in the next video.